I can't narrate this fucking game to save my life. I get to the end of it and I'm like, oh, that was garbage. And like with every other game, I'm just able to narrate fine. I'm like, oh, you know what? That might have been garbage, but it felt good to me. And today it's like, I probably could have had good takes of it, but they just felt like ass right at the end. I don't know. Uh, the fact that I'm just being so forward with this to you guys is like, uh, I'm not really sure whether that's something I should be saying either. Whatever. Standard match against Blaziken Burner. We both brought three of the same things. We brought a Heatra and a Gyarados and the Garchomp, and it's kind of silly. But we're just going to go ahead and jump into it. What a weird start. Okay. Selby versus Mew. I kind of got this little utility Mew going on. Got the Stealth Rock and the Taunt and the... And a Tailwind, I think, which is not something I see on Mew too often. I just pulled it off the database. I was like, maybe I can use it in this game. That could be kind of fun. He just ends up either predicting my taunt outright or just wants to go for super effective damage. And just ends up U-turning out into his Heatran. That's cool. Uh, it takes a little bit of effort for me to take out this Heatran for whatever reason. Because reasons? I honestly don't know. Uh, this Mew is not really designed to kill anything unless it does not resist normal so the fact that he resists normal kind of sucks because this is a normal gem explosion mew with max speed and max attack if i'm not mistaken which is why it doesn't have any hp investment so he goes for magma storm goes for protect to preserve all of his hp uh, unfortunate for him i can still do something while he's protecting so it was kind of a dead turn for him but i do get to boost the speed of my party for three turns which is not too bad on top of that he protected on that turn which means the protect on the next turn has a chance of failing so why do i go into gothitelle you're asking Honestly, I really couldn't tell you. I was just kind of fucking around. I was like, oh, it's a Gothitelle. I'm going to use it. I'm going to trap him because he's trying to trap people too. So we're kind of trapping each other, but because there's a picture-in-picture -picture dress here, there's a trap within a trap trapping a trap. Suck on that trap. That's a that's a, that's a a booby trap on my side of the field. That's actually doesn't have any boobies, but it's a trap with a trap. Akbar. Okay. Got a couple of call mines going on, and he's just magma storming. I really don't feel the need to talk about this, which is why I sped it up a lot. This Gothitelle really doesn't come out on top of this situation because he has taunt. I can't call mind. I can't rest. Uh, he taunted me, like, in the middle of my rest, too, so it's not like I can wake up at the same time as the taunt ends. And by the time I wake up, I can just go for an HP fighting, see how much it does, and it's just not going to take up. It's going to be a two-hit KO, I think, at this range. Uh, it's not saying a lot about his Heatran, especially because I'm looking at his HP number right now. Oh, God, excuse me. A little bit of a burp there. I'm looking at his HP number right now, and he's got a little bit lower than what I would expect for, like, uh, special defensive magma trapping Heatran. And the one I run has max HP and max special defense. So the fact that I actually do that much, just kind of speed, or that much or that little, whatever, however you want to cut it, it's an unstab HP fighting, hitting a Heatran. I don't know, Heatran's got decent bulk as is on the special side. So, uh, I don't know, this Gothitelle really didn't do anything this game. It just trapped the Heatran that's designed to trap, and it's just gonna die to a Gengar. So, Silent Tom shadow balls me right in the fucking face. Because I don't want him to set up a sub for free. That's why I leave it in. Get some safe uh, switch initiative going on there. So, if he wanted a sub, I would have just taken it out with the Psychic. Uh, but because he didn't, I can just go into my Scarf Star after. This lets him know right off the bat. Hey, motherfucker, I have nothing else to do about this except send in a Pokemon which is blatantly slower than your own. And try to surprise you with the Choice Scarf. But, no. No, I'm not meant to surprise him at all. Just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to take him out. So, uh, he takes some Stealth Rocks damage. Kind of helps, but not really, because he was at 75% upon switching because of the Stealth Rocks. But Star Raptor freaking does like 65% with the Reckless Brave Bird as is. So it's like, holy shit, what a load of damage. And then on top of that, Gyarados didn't really do anything other than intimidate me, which is kind of awesome. So... The fact that I let him know that I was Scarf, though, he brings in his Latios. I'm like, okay, the fact that you're bringing in a Latios on something that you know is blatantly slower than you, unless it has a Scarf, means that you have a Scarf, too. So I'm going to go into Heatran to take the Draco Meteor or the Dragon Pulse, whatever he wants to go for. That doesn't look like Specs damage to me at all. It obviously looks like Scarf damage, so I'm just going to go ahead and stay in here. Decide to go for a Dragon Pulse to try to get some middle ground going on here because I don't want to go for the Fire Blast predicting Celebi to come in. Because if he brings in Garchomp 
and I, I don't, I don't know. I, it was kind of obvious, I guess, that Selby was coming in. I guess I just hiccuped on that turn. I also didn't know what hidden power I was running. If I was running ice, I would have just gone for that right off the bat. But I think because I'm running Dragon Pulse, I'm not running HP Ice. I think I'm running HP Grass for like Rotom and Gastrodon, or I'm running HP Electric for Water types in general. I really didn't check during the game, but hey, so. Get to bring in my Garchomp right here because I was kind of predicting the TA right there. He just ends up going for the Stealth Rock. Knowing, or I don't know if he knew that I was choice, but Dragon Pulse isn't really that common on Heatran that aren't offensive. So uh, I guess he figured he'd get a free turn right there. So I get to go for another Outrage because I'm locked into it, obviously, after he goes for Giga Drain. And spoilers, I get the three turn Outrage, which means I'm stuck in here, and one of his two dragons just get to revenge me right in the freaking face. Uh, Lottie is gonna do it this time with a Draco Meteor. Now, the reason I said Gothitelle earlier was kind of a stupid thing. I don't know if I already covered it in this take, but switching in Gothitelle after he was at minus one would have been great. He would have been choiced. He would have been stuck going for Draco Meteors while I set up in his face until he struggled himself to death. But because I wasted that opportunity on a Magma Trapping Heatran, I now have to go into my Heatran, my own Heatran. But the thing is, is I know that I took his stock Draco with that much. So this Draco, if he wants to stay and go for it again, is going to do way less. So he ends up switching out to Garchomp as I go for a Dragon Pulse. Holy crap, the fact that he lived at 3 pissed me off endlessly, but there's not much I can do about it. I feel like that was just an unfair damage variation, unless you want to plug that shit in a damage calculator. I don't know. It did all but 3, and that was a little upsetting. But get to go out into Gyarados right now. Get an Intimidate off. I'm pretty sure I can take an Outrage if he wants to predict that, but he just ends up going for the safe play. Goes for the Earthquake as I bring it in. I can set up in his face. I honestly don't mind taking a minus one outrage from a chomp, especially because he's lefties. He's not life orb or choice or anything like that. As we just learned on that turn or the previous, I think the previous turn we learned his item. So free DD up right here. Now my battle plan to win this is as long as I can be faster than Latios or as long as I can live a hit from Latios and just T wave it then Staraptor can clean up everything. It can take out Latios, probably from that range. It can take out Gengar, definitely from that range. I did a considerable chunk to Garchomp, so I should be able to take it out from that range too. I'm not sure about after the rock switching, how many times I can do that, but if the more damage that Gyarados can do to his team before it ends up dying, the better. So. I dig a Draco right there. I don't take it very well at all. In fact, I'm probably going to die to another one, which is why the T-Wave happened, and then I go for the Waterfall to try to get some paraflinching going on. Uh, waterfall doesn't really have high odds of doing that, but the third factor comes into play. Uh, if he doesn't get paralyzed or if he doesn't flinch from Waterfall, he can miss a Draco, so I had three safety nuts on that one. Two of them tore, but one of the backup parachutes had to work eventually, and on top of that, I got a crit on that Waterfall. It was absolutely pointless, but I really love this Gyarados. He's kind of cool. Just the whole T-Wave waterfall thing is nice. So instead of cleaning up with Star Raptor, I actually get to clean up with Gyarados because I'm now faster than the Gengar thanks to the Dragon Dance, and I'm still doing work. I that Draco really sucks, but I think with the amount of damage I did to Latios on the turn where I took the Draco and just hit him, I think that would have helped out Star Raptor. If you really want to add up the numbers like raw. And then just kind of see how much recoil I would have taken from Braver. That's fine, I guess, too. But the fact of the matter is that miss <laughs> happened. I'm sorry. That sucks. But to be honest, he hit every single one of his Magma Storms. Which has like 75 accuracy or 80 accuracy? 75. I think I used the one at 75. Yeah, that was kind of lucky in itself, but whatever. Anyways, uh, that was a game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a little bit of a different one. Kind of an average length one. I'd like my battles to be around this long. Which is kind of cool. So, I don't know. If you guys liked it, you can leave a like rating, comment, and subscribe and do your thing. And I feel like that was a little rushed. Let me clarify that. You can either like this video, comment on this video, or do your thing, which consists of both of them. Or subscribing. Subscribing can be in doing your thing as well. I don't know. I'm really bad at endings. Ah, uh, the LP. How I said I was going to count the votes and record a couple of episodes on, like, next week. Um, there's a different thing between like actually recording a couple of episodes during the next week and actually recording the whole thing during the weekend. I went ahead and did the latter. So I have all the episodes for this done. They're all sitting on my external hard drive. It was not that hard of a game to finish at all, but that's a thing. And yeah, 
Uh, you guys will actually see the first episode a little bit, a couple hours after this. Okay, I'm done rambling. Less than 10 minutes. Bye.